Hey everyone, welcome back. It's getting to be that time of year where it's getting colder and not much boating going on. So last year was our first year with this boat and we pulled it out, had it winterized. Well, kind of had it winterized. Uh, the guy who did it kind of missed a few things and we had fortunately no big issues, uh, but we did have a few issues that we had to repair. So got that done. This year, we are in the process of putting a lift in, in our slip. So that should go in in about uh, a week or so. And we're going to keep the boat out there. We're not going to winterize it because here in Tennessee, we get uh, a number of days in December that are still in the 50s. Um, so we can go out and boat. You know, we have the full camper canvases. January, yeah, that's rare that you're going to get that nice of weather to go out. But once we start getting to February and March, you know, it starts to get warmer again already. So, you know, boating season can start earlier for us. Again, having the camper canvases and being in a slip, you know, you can just go out for a little cruise and not have to worry about putting the boat in and out of the water. So that being said, today we're going to talk about more boat things and how I am going to keep my boat from freezing, how we're going to keep the block from cracking without winterizing it. This thing should do it. Let's take a look. This is our new toy for the boat. It's from BoatHeaters.com. You can see right there. It's the Twin Hornet 45. So let's open up, take a look. So this is the box that it came in. It came in exactly like this. Shipping labels on the other side. Obviously, I did open it to make sure it's the right things. You can tell it's not very big. I mean, there's my hand. I don't have huge hands, so it's not a big box by any means. It's not super heavy either, so let's go ahead and take a look. So first things first open up, you've got the instruction manual. What we purchased was the Twin Hornet. The only difference, they're both 700 watt heaters. The only difference is the Twin Hornet is redundant, so it is supposed to be a lot more bulletproof than even the, the single component. And it's only about $45 more. So let's take a look at the manual real quick. If you look right here, safe, waterproof, fireproof. Now remember the ABYC, it is Coast Guard approved. So that's a good thing to have. There's not a lot to this. Talks about their company here, how the thing works. And there's your maintenance. And then your testing methods. There are no on and off switches. I'll show you that here in a second. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the freezer method. You put it in the freezer for about an hour, unplugged, pull it out, plug it in. If it runs, you know it works and we're good to go. So, and there's the rest of the information. It's a three year warranty covers everything on it, and it's sold by uh, BoatHeaters.com. So there's your instruction manual. Here's what it looks like in the box. It's got a nice long power cord to it. Let's take it out here. So there it is. It is not big. I think it's six by six by seven and a half. So let's take a look at the top here. BoatHeaters.com, it's the Twin Hornet. It's 120 volts, 700 watts. It's IPX7, completely waterproof. It's set to kick on at 40 or below and go until it reaches, I wanna say 45 degrees. We'd have to look at the manual, I'm not quite sure, but so here's what it looks like. Here's the intake side, so that sucks in the cool air. Power comes in, again, no power switch. And there's one of your heating elements and blows it out and it's got mounting points there and a little flange. Well, there's the unboxing. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put it in the freezer. This just seems a little odd, putting an electronic device in a freezer. And not only that, being told to by the manufacturer. So here it goes in the freezer. You can see it's unplugged, so we're safe. All right, well, here we go. Headed to the freezer. It's been actually just a little over an hour. Let's take a look. We're gonna get this measurement right here. So about three degrees right in the center of the element. Sufficiently cold. Let's get it over on the table and plug it in. Okay, so I went through and tried off the plug the best I could. Now let me see if I can plug this in one-handed. Plugged in, some power, and instantly, we're starting, we're putting out some air. All right, 
so we're going to shoot this from a little ways back. I've got the gun about a foot and a half away. We're sitting at 205 degrees. I'm about two, two and a half feet away, and I can definitely feel quite a bit of heat. So right there is my wife's car, which is about three feet away, and that's 99. It's already kicked off, so it's definitely reading that it's got plenty of temperature. So it'll thaw a little bit. And we'll be good to go. Here we are. We're out the boat. It's beautiful. It's a little windy. It's about 62, 63 degrees, which I'll take any day of the week for it being November. And we're supposed to even get warmer through the week, so that's a good thing. But tonight it's supposed to drop into the low 30s, high 20s. I know it's not enough to freeze a block overnight, but I don't want to take any chances because I had that kind of luck. So here is our dynamite and small packages heater. Like I told you before, it's a 700 watt heater. I mean, you can see the size of it. It's nice and compact. You can mount it. I'm not planning on mounting it. I'm gonna set it right at the bottom of our bilge. So then the heat will rise. It'll get the block, get up into the manifolds and get everything nice and dry. Plus I'm planning on putting two moving blankets over the, the entire motor and draining the block. So we should be fine, um, even in cold weather that lasts. One nice thing about this, besides it being compact and having a lot of power, it's got a nice long cord to it. Right back behind me here, that's our power pier. So the plan is right now I'm just gonna plug it in tonight and leave it on there so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put it down here and we're gonna monitor it come back tomorrow and hopefully everything should be fine so hope you all enjoyed this if you did do me a favor give it a thumbs up let other people know that this is a, a video that was helpful to you you know maybe consider subscribing to our channel so well I gotta get to work I gotta get this down here I'm gonna do some boat cleaning maybe take a ride and then get ready for the cold tonight see y'all next time Thank you.